So how are we going to start off the week without a SoFi stock video? I mean, come on, guys. Let's break down SoFi stock in this video. We're going to go over the charts, talk about how it's doing right now, my thoughts, what I'm looking to do. But before we dive into it, of course, take a sip of your coffee, guys. And do not forget to get up to 17 free stocks for Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video. All you guys have to do is go down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo, open up your account and simply fund it with at least $100 and you get one free share of C3AI stock right off the bat, which right now is at least 40 bucks a share, 40, 45 bucks per share. And that's actually exclusive to this channel. You cannot get that anywhere else. And on top of that, you get another five stocks each up to 2000 bucks. That's just with a $100 deposit and fund your account at least a thousand dollars. You get 10 more stocks totaling 16 stocks. And guys, listen to this fund your account at least $5,000 on top of all the stocks you already got. You also get a free share of either Tesla or Google stock guaranteed guys I'm telling you this is the best promo right now so check it out all the details are down below and of course that is an affiliate link so it does help out the channel I appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video so check it out guys SoFi is now down around 1.2 percent on the day down around 9 10 cents which honestly is not that bad considering uh you know how volatile the stock tends to be on the upside and on the downside, right? So pretty much it's just that break even today, chilling at about $8.50. And mind you, it's uh, it's around $12.50 right now when I'm making this video on the East Coast. And one thing I want to point out to start off uh, this video right off the bat, guys, the descending triangle we called out, I believe, what's today? Tuesday? Yeah, markets were closed yesterday. I believe I made a video on Sunday going over uh, SoFi, what to expect for the upcoming week. The descending triangle we called out ended up playing out guys look at this if i pull the five day five minute up you guys are going to see if i zoom in a little bit this is what we had on friday right let me zoom in and show you guys what's going on so on friday you guys probably remember it wasn't the best day for sofi stock i think on the day it went down nine percent ten percent something like that and we're going to see or, or rather we notice on friday we put in two distinct lower highs. You guys see this, right? In the morning, we failed at $9.17.20 roughly. And later in the day, more towards the end of the day, we failed at about $8.95, $9. Again, we're, uh, we, we put in lower highs, right? And at the same time, we were holding $8.50 for the majority of the day, pretty much all day. Yeah, all day, including the aftermarket hours. You guys can see we held uh, 8.50 right here at about 11 a.m. on the East Coast, and we held it right before close, um, you know, right around here. We held 8.50, 8.55. So, yeah, what is that? That is a descending triangle, and we called that out again two days ago. And then this morning, guys, lo and behold, in the pre-market, it ended up playing out. We fell right through 850. And if you guys didn't know, the way a descending triangle plays out is number one, it's a bearish pattern. And number two, it plays out once you fall through the support, which in this case, it was 850. So we were digging ourselves deeper into that triangle, deeper into that you know, towards that 850 support. Then boom, this morning we fell right through that point and we got all the way down to $8.07. As you guys can see right here, that is the low from the very early, uh, you know, minutes of the pre-market, which was at about 4.35 a.m. here on the East Coast. And ever since that point where we hit 8.07, uh, which again, the descending triangle played out, we then ended up recovering a lot of that, uh, you know, initial dump from the, uh, from the beginning of the pre-market and and now we're right back to 850 right now in real time, which I guess is a good sign for the Bulls. The fact that, you know, we ended up recovering that entire loss and we're still red, uh, but now we're starting to fight at about 850, which you guys can see again, that was the low from uh, Friday. So what are we going to do at 850, guys? That is a very big level here. We actually did break above it in the morning. We got to about 865, but that didn't last long, as you guys can see. And now we're getting right back to, uh, to 850. So I'm going to set my alert in the very short term here, guys, at $8.65. Mark is at or above, which is the high from earlier this morning. If we're able to break out of that point, we could be playing in this window right here between $8.65 to $8.95. Let me actually get the trend line tool out to show you guys that was one of the highs from Friday, right? We could be going $8.65 or 
rather 895. Then if that were to break, maybe 910, 915, 920, that's where we could be going. So this looks pretty decent, guys, in the very short term. And the Bulls will start gaining momentum, in my opinion, if we start breaking those levels that I just mentioned, especially $8.65, guys, that level needs to break. So what we're seeing right now, guys, essentially is we're trading between 810 to about 850, which if I pull up the four-hour time frame, you guys can see 810 was roughly the high from the beginning of February. And 850, if I zoom in or uh, not zoom in, but pull up the yearly chart, that was actually the high from the beginning of August. So essentially, we're trading between the highs from the beginning of February and from the beginning of August. We're in this little 40 cent window, which we have to pick direction. And clearly, as of now, we're starting to push to the upwards um, direction, especially now that we're at 850. Uh, you know, if we break 850, 865, like I said, bulls are going to start gaining momentum, and we'll see what you know. We'll see how it plays out, guys. Time will tell at this point. Uh, you know, it's again, it's in this 40 cent window, and we have to see what direction we pick. Do we break 850, 865, or do we go under eight dollars, 810, and start breaking eight dollars, which would be uh, uh, not the best sign for the bulls at that point on the four hour chart. We can make a case that you know. It could go down to 715, 720, 25, 730, right? That's where it could go if it breaks $8. Uh, but time will tell. Again, we have to see what distinct direction we do end up picking. And one thing worth mentioning here, guys, which is not the best sign for the Bulls, at least it wasn't initially. We broke under the 50 SMA here on the four hour chart this morning. And the reason why I said initially is because now we're starting to recover back over um, the 50 SMA. But the fact that we broke under it in, in the the morning is not the best sign and let me see here on the 10 day chart how we're looking uh, another thing worth mentioning guys if I clear the drawing set and zoom in a little bit here on the 10 day 30 minute we're gonna notice we're still trading in this channel here do you guys see this right here we're in this channel right now on the 10 day 30 minute and now we're testing the top of that channel, right? Right by the 50 SMA as well. So if the bulls really want to start breaking out, another thing worth mentioning here is we have to start breaking the channel on this five day or, or not the five day, 10 day, 30 minute. We have to start breaking above the 50 SMA. And from there, if we start breaking $9, that's where we could really start to reverse, at least in my opinion. And, you know, the bulls are still in charge, obviously, in the long term uh, and, and the grand scheme of things here over the past couple of weeks on SoFi. But for the trend to really start to continue, this needs to break. And all the levels we mentioned, you know, earlier in this video, those points need to break as well, guys. So not the, you know, not the best day for SoFi, no doubt about it, but also not the worst either, considering the markets in general right now are selling off. Well, the Nasdaq's actually about to go green, funny enough, which earlier it was down. Uh, but now the uh, Russell's down half a percent. It's recovered a lot over the uh, course of the day. Same with the Dow, which is down half a percent as well. We have the S&P down about 0.4. So uh, yeah, guys, not the uh, not that bad here for SoFi. Let's see if it breaks out of those levels, whether it's today, tomorrow, later this week. I don't know. Let's see. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Don't be shy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to get up to 17 stocks for Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video, guys, each up to 2000 bucks by going down below or by going to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least $100, you get five stocks each up to 2000 bucks, and you get another another free share of C3AI stock, which is 40 bucks per share right now. And guys, that's actually exclusive to this channel. No joke. You cannot get that C3AI stock through anybody else's Moomoo link, but this one. So use that link down below and it gets better. Fund your account with at least a thousand dollars. You get all the stocks we just mentioned and 10 more on top of that, totaling 16 stocks each up to 2000 bucks. And guys, fund your account with at least $5,000. It gets even better. I don't even know how much better it can get, but it does get better you get another free share on top of all the stocks you just got of either tesla or google stock guaranteed so uh yeah guys the best promo right now by far is linked down below so take advantage and of course that helps out the channel it is an affiliate link i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers i'll catch you all later